Okay, I thought I was live. What happened? All right, anyways. <laughs> hey, everybody. Happy Friday. I hope you guys are doing well today. Um, I just got back from a nice long hike, like a three-hour hike, and that felt great. And now I am drinking my little smoothie before I go out and drink. I'm supposed to be on a cleanse, but I figure if I balance it out. <laughs> Put the smoothie and then go have um, dinner with my girls and some cocktails. It'll be good. Hey, y'all. What's up? Hey, Jimmy Alice. I feel like I haven't seen or heard from you in a while. Hey, Charlene. What's up? All right. So this is going to be a quick video because I got to get dressed <clears throat> and get ready to head out in a minute. Oh, God. I got dirt and rocks in my socks. So, well, as we all know. Some shift is definitely happening, <laughs> right? Things are going down in the, the community. Um, I am not 100% certain about everything that's going down. I really don't know, to be honest with you. I, you know, I mind my business, I drink my smoothie, and I, you know, I'm focusing on building some major, major shit over here. Um, and, um, so I, I don't really know everything that is happening and I have pulled back a lot from the community itself um, way before I was pulling back anyway, just because intuitively spirit led me to do that, you know, um, because I felt the shift happening before it even really bubbled to the surface. <clears throat> but I will say this. Right now, in in the the energy, cosmically, astrologically, right now, a lot is coming up for a lot of people. Okay, so we're gonna see, and I said this months and months and months ago, that you're gonna see people's um, triggers show up for them. Okay, so this is not a, about judgment. This is not about shitting on anybody this is this is about understanding human nature and having space for compassion and understanding for what is going on okay um because in the midst of all of the drama and the chaos there has to be um an understanding of what's going on underneath the surface so right now <clears throat> uh energetically as a collective a lot of our core wounds are being brought, are, are kind of being poked at. So shit is coming to the surface. So, you know, we're going to be seeing a lot of this stuff. And I said a long time ago, like the volatility in the air is high, right? Especially the first three months of this year. I don't know if y'all remember, but I said like the first three months of 2022, this energy of volatility and violence and like not just within our community, but in the world, period. Like violence and like, it's just gonna be a lot of shit going down. So with that being said, you know, whatever is happening, whoever's feeling what and going through whatever, my point of, of the way I like to handle things is to always hold space for everybody's healing and hold space for everybody's um, ability to rise above it and break through it okay because this is just a growing pain everything that's happening right now it's just a growing pain you know what i mean um and so while people have to do what they got to do spiritually magically protection wise whatever everybody has to do what they got to do no judgment on that you know i'm I ain't, I am not a love and light person. So I'm like, whatever you got to do, do what you got to do. Just make sure you do it well and make sure that you um, do it with strategy and be clear minded when you do it and not be overly emotional when you do it just to avoid blowback. Okay. Because sometimes you might be sending something some way or doing something to a person who doesn't really warrant that. Hold on. Let me let this cat outside. She drive me crazy. Come on, girl. Get on out. <laughs> Sorry about that. She is a nutcase. Anyway, um, everybody got to do what they got to do, right? Um, so, but I will say this, hold space for for everyone 
involved or who's not involved. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Just whole space for everybody, yeah. That's it. Um, Y'all see my hoes and my workout shirt. Um, so, you know, <clears throat> unhealed wounds are being poked at. There is this, there is an energy out here that is looking to disturb um, peaceful communities, peaceful organizations, uh, people who are, or people who operate or think from a higher mind. There is an attack on that type of, of, on that frequency, okay? There is an attack that is unseen. It's not necessarily coming from a person. It is just coming from an energy, an entity, the, the beast, so to speak, okay? Um, so those of us who are doing the work to raise the vibration are being directly affected, okay? And and what it's doing is it's confusing the energy, so it's confusing people. Everybody, everybody is a little confused about where this shit is coming from, right? So you may be feeling like you're taking hits from somebody when really that hit is coming from that that beast, okay? That's that's affecting the collective because we can see it happening in the collective, okay? Um, <clears throat> so I would just say if you're going to do any type of spiritual work or magical work or if you're going to start talking about these issues or what have you that you just keep in mind that this is not about individuals this is about um energy okay this is about the mind this is about people being called to step fully into their healing okay anywhere that you might have kept sweeping shit under the rug and ignoring it it is going to come to surface right now your buttons will be pushed you will be pushed into your healing you're gonna have to heal you have to heal see we can all we can we can get to heights of success we can be successful we can make money we can be in loving relationships without being healed. You ain't got to be healed to get those things. But to maintain them and to keep them, you do. You got to heal. And so if there's anything inside of us that needs adjusting or it's time for the, those things to be healed, then this is the time right now, the way this energy is, this is the time that those things are going to be highlighted. Like that, that wound is going to be highlighted. Okay? And because it is a wound, and that means that it's a crack in the foundation, that 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 beast energy, whether it's using other people as a catalyst to get to you or not, right, is going to get to you because there's a crack in the foundation. And I always talk about that, right? Last year, most of last year, I was in spiritual warfare. Okay, I had to do some d deep, heavy, heavy, heavy dark magic, right, to assist me with protecting myself and keeping certain things, energies, entities, and people out of my energy field. Okay, but the only way they were able to get in there is because there was some shit, it was a crack in my foundation, right? I had to check me first, so I dealt with me first, then after I got strong, stronger and had healed and sealed up that particular crack in, in the foundation that was causing this effect on my life in different areas, right? Once I healed and sealed that up, then I was like, all right, now anybody who tried to take advantage of that or anything that tried to take advantage of me while I was laid in hospital bed healing, I wasn't, I wasn't actually in a hospital bed, but when you, when you go into healing, that's kind of what it's like. You have to you know, you kind of have to surrender yourself to the process, okay? So it's like you're laying down in a hospital bed recovering, all right? So while I was doing that, it, it, I was having some things come to me. People were attacking. P things were attacking, not just people, but entities. And the entities were using the people as pawns to do certain things to me, okay? Or do certain things for me, not to me, because it was all for my highest and best good. Not one thing that happened to me last year happened to me. I am not a victim. Nobody was just like tr trying to come and kill me and all that type of shit. Even if they were, it happened for my highest good. And I thank them. I thank them. Okay. Um, 
to this day, do I know who they were? I don't know. I don't really care. I don't need to know who they were as individuals. I just knew that there was something coming out and I divined and I dipped down and got down and dirty and was like, yo, what's going on? Because it ain't just me. I know I am the catalyst. I am the key through which these, these entities and energies and people were able to open up the door and work their way in there, right? I am the reason why. However, I know it ain't just me. So what needs to happen? And I didn't need names. I didn't need, I didn't need to do all of that. It was just a matter of going here, do the work and move on. That's it. Okay. But I was the cause of it. It wasn't anybody else. It was me. So if you feel like you're being attacked by someone or something is happening or whatever the fuck <laughs> is happening, right? I don't know, right? Whatever the fuck is going on. If you feel that, I would encourage you to go within and find out, okay, where is the crack in the foundation? How did they even worm their way in here if they're doing that? Because sometimes it ain't nobody. Sometimes it is our own fear of expecting a betrayal from someone or expecting to be hurt. We always kind of like like this, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you've dealt with any kind of... If you've dealt with any kind of abuse, whether it be physical, emotional, verbal, sexual, um, there is a, a PTSD there if you haven't done the work to clear it. And when I say done the work to clear it, I mean, if you have not gone and gotten professional um, um, mental health care for it, not just magic, not just doing your own inner work and all of that stuff, that stuff is, that stuff has to happen in conjunction with medical attention okay please believe that as a community especially as black folk we got to get out of that i ain't going to the doctor i ain't letting nobody get in my head listen listen everything is here for our benefit all you got to do is call forth the right practitioner call forth for the, the right good practitioner that is for you, the one who does have a medical degree, the one who is licensed, the one who can help you and give you tools to assist you and help you pinpoint where it is. And on top of that, you do your own energetic work or you work with a, another energetic practitioner. You got to form an earthly team for you down here. You have got to incorporate your, your mental health with your magical power. You can't just do one or the other, okay? Because what happens is when we do not deal with those core wounds, deal with them for real. Like when we don't deal with them on a, on a real cellular core level, what happens is this, when we go start messing around with magic and we start inviting all of these different entities, energies into us, if we are not already mentally stable, Meaning there is something inside of us that at any given moment can rock my foundation and rock my, my, my mental, right? Having all of these energies pass through the body can sometimes, not all the time, and I'm not saying that this is happening. I'm just saying can sometimes trigger low-grade schizophrenia. Now, I am not a doctor. I am not a licensed therapist. But I have seen this happen with people who do not take their mental health seriously. They haven't dealt with their wounds on a deep, deep, deep cellular level, okay? And, and, and doing heavy magic, consistent magic, working with entities on a consistent basis can sometimes um, bring forth those types of mental issues, okay? So do your own research on that, you know, tap into your own higher awareness on that one to find out for yourself if that could be the case, if you feel like that's what's going on with you. OK, because um, sometimes it can make you it can it can make you feel crazy. It really can. All right. And this is the thing, like I have not dealt with um, physical or, or sexual abuse, but I have dealt with mental and verbal and emotional abuse. Okay, as as a kid, um, and in in one relationship that I was in, one relationship was was highly highly um, 
you know, mentally, emotionally, and verbally abusive. And we did it, we were doing it to each other. Okay. Um, so that, that, with that trauma comes that PTSD, being on guard, right? But because I do what I do and I respect Western medicine, okay? I'm, I'm not a person that's like, you know, ooh, fuck Western medicine. I respect Western medicine because it, there is a time and a place for everything. Magic can't fix everything. It cannot, okay? This is why everything is here for us to use and for us to glean from and for us to tap into. All of it is here for us to use. But where magic can help in all areas is discernment. You, you can use your magic to discern what is right for me in this moment. It's not always going to be Western medicine. It's not always going to be magical rituals and spells. It's not always going to be, um, you know, Reiki and energy work. It's not always going to be hypnosis. It's not always going to be one thing. You may have to pick and choose from different things. Anytime I work with a client, I always say, Okay, this this is something that we can work on. However, this is, is very heavy. So I recommend that you, if you're not already under the care of a physician, like a, a MD or a licensed therapist or a psychiatrist or a psychologist, then I recommend that we pull one of those experts in on this. So we can work as a team to make sure you get the fastest, most effective results possible. We have got to start taking mental health seriously, for real. Not not just from what is happening in the middle, um, magic community, magical community, but what is happening on a larger scale, a global scale. We got to take it seriously and we have to start not only looking at Oh, I go, I have a therapist. Okay, well, where is your energy worker? Where's your spiritual person? Like, where's your, you know what I mean? Like, we got to keep it all, we got to pull it all together and mix it in a pot because it is, um, it's a recipe. It's not just one ingredient. It's a recipe. All right? So, again, like I said, I'm speaking from experience because I have been, in, in positions in my lifetime where I have felt like I was losing my mind. I felt like I was going crazy. I felt like everybody was coming after me. And until I was able to release the, the hurt and the pain and heal some wounds that stemmed all the way back to my childhood. And some of it wasn't, some of it, it was always, it started in childhood, but a lot of it culminated in like my early twenties, right? My late teens and my early twenties. And even up to like right, between, right before I turned 30, okay, it was a lot of stuff that was happening then that I had to go and look at each version of myself and go through that process and work on my own healing journey, do it on my own, as well as hire professionals and experts and coaches who could also help me process, all right? So... Yes, the shift is happening and the shift is happening everywhere. It's happening all over the world. It's happening with all kinds of people. You know what I mean? I, I went through hell last year. I just, nobody knew. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nobody knew. I keep, I, you know, I do my shit on my lonesome. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I mean, I had coaches and mentors and therapists, things like that, that was helping me and working, me, you know, helping me through the process as well as going through my own process. But I am not saying this, you know, to say that, you know, one person is better or worse or whatever. I'm just saying we got to look at stuff on a deeper level and we got to have compassion and love and just hold space, just hold space, you know, that whatever is going on, um, it's causing something new, fresh and beautiful to emerge and whatever needs to die, dies and is put to death. And whatever remnants can be used to plant new seeds are planting fruitful, abundant, useful, beneficial seeds. Okay. All right. So pull back, do whatever you need to do. Child, just <laughs> do whatever you need to do. Um, and just, you know, 
try to stay free of the drama i don't know any i don't know no no specifics of anything i haven't watched any videos i haven't been paying attention to a lot of stuff i'm working my black behind off over here i have several different projects brewing right now um the be magic hypnosis method program is starting in the first week of may we're going to do our orientation on april 15th if you are interested in signing up for that, um, I have posted it here in the group. So please take a look at that um, and go ahead and get yourself in there. I'm only accepting 10 people for right. I think right now we have three people signed up. Um, so you have until you have until May um, because we're going to record the orientation. So you have up until the first week of May to sign up and get started. OK. Um, and if you can't sign up until May, that's fine. Um, once you get signed up, you'll have access to the orientation because it'll be uploaded into the, the classroom portal anyway. Okay. Um, so that's going on. I got some other stuff that I'm not going to talk about that's happening, uh, you know, that has, you know, nothing to do with what's going to be happening. Anything that I'm going to be promoting on social media is totally different, totally different industry, totally different everything. So, um, so there's a lot happening. <laughs> <laughs> I can't catch out. <laughs> I just I don't have time to keep up with the um, the news forecast on Facebook. Um, so, but I am just sending love to everybody. Um, you all know that I'm very close with both Sabria and Lavette. Um, and we still work together, and we still have a very tight knit friendship and relationship. Um, and what I can say is, um, while I don't know all of the details of things, what I can say is that I do not associate myself, whether my word means anything to anybody or not, um, I don't associate myself with anybody who does not operate in integrity, with anyone who isn't truthful and honest in their business dealings. Um, I don't associate with anybody who I don't, tr who I can't trust, you know what I'm saying? Uh as a friend or whatever um that's what i will say about that i send love to everyone okay um so that's it okay so i love you guys thank you for tuning in hope this has been helpful um again if you're interested in signing up for the um, be magic beta test group the I pinned it at the top of the page in the group so you can go and see that information um, and also what else is going on oh yes yeah, so we're gonna be starting another round of the um, breaking chains codependency group okay we're getting ready to start another round of that that shit is powerful very very powerful so Highly recommend it for anybody who feels like they need to break free of um, any kinds of codependency. If you're not sure whether or not you have codependency issues, then I would recommend setting up a free consultation first so we can talk a little bit about it. You can ask questions. You can tell me what your issue is, and I can tell you if this is going to be a good program for you or not, okay? All right, y'all. I'm about to go get ready for my date night with my girls. And I will see y'all later. See you in the next video. Bye.